Hello and welcome to Tea Off with me, Shelley Chopra. This is a really special moment for me because I'm here at the heart of golfing action in Arizona. This is Tempe and I'm here at the Rolling Hills Golf Course that's managed by Millennium Golf. I have with me on this show a very special guest, the man who looks after the operations, has an insight into not just golf and golfers, but really how the story of golf evolved in the region. We'll also get you a little political twist to it because he is one man who's met a president who's made himself into somewhat of a golfing icon. So let's catch up with our special guest on this episode of Tea Off with me, Shelley Chopra. David Hockett from Millennium Golf, who runs a Rolling Hills golf course in Arizona, a state that's home to over 40,000 Indians, many of whom come to play here. Super. A former professional golfer, David quickly moved into operations where he saw a big opportunity. With the recovery in the economy, golf is growing back again. Golf in Arizona is starting to come back uh, with America and going through some of the financial struggles that we've had. Uh, we saw a lull in the amount of play, but as recently as the economy, economy is stabilized, uh, we're starting to see uh, the number of rounds go up uh, and the number of people coming out and enjoying uh, the golf in, in Arizona. But even as people make a comeback, just what does it take to keep the golf business on the green? I don't think you need to have a big designer name to provide a golf course that people like. It's it's all generated by the experience that they have when they come out to play. Uh, you're looking at the price that they pay and then the amenities and the, and the, and the services that they get with that. Uh, there's quite a few golf courses in Arizona that aren't designed by big name designers that are very viable. Uh, it does help and they will be able to, uh, those particular courses that have big name designers will be able to uh, demand a higher price, but that doesn't necessarily mean you can't have a, a, a golf course that works without a big name designer. Although Tiger Woods remains Dave's favorite player, one of his most memorable experiences has been won with a former U.S. President, George Bush, he had a chance to give a quick lesson too. Uh, you know, someone like Tiger Woods that comes along that uh, whose ethnic background and stuff will generate a lot of interest across the board for, for all uh, players of any ethnicity and it, it certainly does work. You see right now with Tiger Woods being in uh, tournaments if he's on TV ratings go up and it does generate quite a bit of interest mm -hmm. and celebrity golfers too I guess oh yeah we have celebrities golfers you know some of the you know smaller golf courses won't see them but if you get up into the, the higher end daily fees you'll get a lot of celebrity golfers you know Michael Jordan Charles Barkley presidents ex-presidents things like that will come in and play uh, and since this is election time, good time to ask you which ex-presidents and presidents might have visited here. Uh, George Bush, the, the first George Bush, uh, who was president in the uh, 80s. He played at one of my facilities and I had a chance to meet him and he gave me a presidential seal golf ball. It's pretty cool. What? And so after George Bush, it was my turn to take a quick lesson from Dave Hockhead. And now with David, we're going to head across to the course to give you a sense of this entire geography and those cactus we all watch on television to get a real-time sense of how it is and why this terrain is so special for golfers, even if it takes baking in the sun to play a good round of golf. Drive through the course for a complete flavor of arid Arizona. From the cactus to just a bumpy ride, this course promises to take you through the rolling hills a bit literally. 
The world famous Suarez cactus greets you across the course, a course that was built for the first time in the 1960s. This promises to make your game and the terrain highly exciting on the round of golf. Just a few kilometers away from the Phoenix Airport in Arizona, this course is a quick hop and jump for anyone wanting to catch a game of golf. Phoenix and Arizona as a state have become hugely popular for the game of golf and attract golfers from across the world, particularly in the very rich region of Scottsdale. For those of you willing to add a little spike to your game, the Tequila Countryside in Arizona makes for a perfect place for the sun and the salt to mix pretty well. But for the business of golf, America needs to hold on to the recovery curve so far witnessed in the game, even as markets like India and China rise on the other side of the globe. Well, for now, it's a wrap on this episode coming to you from Tempe in Arizona, but much more from me here on the show. Tee off with me, Shelly Chopra.